Hey everyone, welcome back to the channel. If you've just picked up a Ring doorbell or you're thinking about getting one, this video is for you. Today, I'm going to walk you through everything you need to know to get your Ring doorbell set up and working perfectly. We'll cover how to install it, connect it to Wi-Fi, get it running on the Ring app, and make sure you're getting notifications exactly how you want them. I'll also show you how to link it with a Ring Chime. And as a little bonus, I'll show you how to use your Amazon Echo devices as a Chime too, so your smart home works together seamlessly. Grab your phone, grab your Ring doorbell, and let's get started. The first thing you want to do is plug in the Ring doorbell so it's charging whilst you're setting up. Simply plug the USB-C cable into the port on the back to charge. Now that it's charging, you want to install the Ring app. To do this, go to the App Store and search for Ring. Select Ring Doorbell, install the Ring app. Once installed, press Open. It will ask to allow you to send notifications. You want to allow this so you're notified when someone's at the front door. You can then sign in if you already have an account or press Create Account to create a new account. From here, create the new account. Once you're logged into your new account, scroll up and select Set up a device. Select Doorbells. It will then ask you to scan the QR code on the back of your Ring doorbell. So turn your doorbell around, press I'm ready to scan, allow the camera, and scan the QR code on the back of a Ring doorbell. You should then detect your doorbell. You then need to select your address. So I'm going to select my home address and press continue. You can give it a name. I'll call mine front door. It'll then ask you to charge your doorbell. I've already done this, so I'm going to press continue. It'll then ask you to remove the mounting bracket if it's attached. To do this, simply take the orange tool, press it into the orange slot in the bottom, click it in and remove the bracket. Press continue. It'll then ask you if you have your Wi-Fi password. I do. It'll then tell you to allow Bluetooth. Continue. I'm going to choose allow while using app. You now need to make sure your phone and your doorbell are close together. Mine are. We then ask you to press and release the button on the back of your doorbell. The light on the doorbell should now be spinning white. It's now connecting to the doorbell. The doorbell's just notified me that it's connected to the Ring app. I now need to choose my Wi-Fi network. Mine is Eero. Enter the Wi-Fi password and press continue. Connecting to Wi-Fi. Just a moment. Success. So my doorbell is now connected, set up and ready to protect me. There's now just a few more steps you need to do to get the best from your Ring device. First of all, you need to install it. So let's look at the setup steps of this through the app. You need to choose if it's wired or battery only. Mine's gonna be battery only. You should then take your bracket and decide where you want to mount the doorbell. I'm gonna be mounting mine on a softer surface. You now need to screw in the mounting bracket. Then hook the doorbell into place. Installing the doorbell is really simple. I'm using a piece of wood as an example, but obviously this would go on your front door. Take the bracket, the two hooks go at the top, the bit with the orange go at the bottom. Place it on the door and screw in. I seem to have lost one of my screws, but you get the idea. Then take the doorbell, the two holes at the top, clip onto the clips. So put it on the top and then push firmly down to hear it click into place. And the doorbell's installed. If you need to remove the doorbell to charge the batteries, take the orange tool that came with the doorbell and unclip it. The doorbell is now ready to use. You can invite other users to use the doorbell. So if you've got a household of multiple people, you can give each of them access. But I'm gonna skip this. 
if you have an existing chime, you can connect that. But I'm gonna skip that for now and show you how to connect a ring chime shortly. You can now optimize motion settings. So the first option is to record people, but it won't send alerts if it sees them. Or you can choose to record and send alerts whenever your doorbell sees someone. You can choose the same for vehicles and other motion. I just keep mine on person. You can choose a motion sensitivity. I keep mine on around medium point, but if you find you're getting too many alerts, reduce it. If you find you're not getting enough, increase it. You can select how often you want the device to check for motion. I find regularly works fine, but again, do whatever works best for you. Now let's look at setting up motion zones. You may find sometimes you get too many alerts because the camera is seeing motion in places you don't need it to capture motion. In this case, you can select the exact areas you want motion alerts to be triggered. Motion zones enable you to select where you want motion to be detected and where you want it to be ignored. For example, I don't want to be alerted if cars are driving past a house. So press edit zone. From here, select the areas where you want to be notified if somebody walks past them. So for me, it's gonna be down the main path and anything towards the house. So around here, you can also name the zone. So I'm gonna call mine path and press done. You can add more than one motion zone. I don't need to, but the process is exactly the same as setting up one. Now let's have a look at privacy zones and audio settings. You may want some additional control so people can't listen into conversations if they have access. So let's have a look at the features. Privacy zones enable you to select an area where you can't see the video feed. So if I press add privacy zone, you can choose where you want it. So let's say I don't want to see my neighbor's front garden. You can put a little box there. Let's call it garden. The neighbor's garden is now hidden from view. You can also disable audio streaming and recording. You might want to do this if you're worried that somebody else with a camera can listen into conversations. However, I like to keep my audio enabled, so I'll press enable audio. It then says, do you want to get a ring sign? You can or you can't, I'll press continue. Privacy settings are now saved. You're now set up and ready to go. Now that's set up, I put the doorbell back inside. Let's press the doorbell and see if we get a notification. As you can see, there's a notification on my phone. If I press the notification, it'll bring up a live video feed. Once you're on live view, you can zoom into different areas. You can press the speaker button to listen to the front door and you can press a microphone to talk to the person. The first time you do this, it will ask you to allow it in the settings. This is how it sounds when someone's talking to the doorbell. If you ever need to change any settings, press the three dots on the front door camera. From here, you can turn your motion alerts on or off. You can also press front door settings. And from here, you can get access to all the features. So you may want to turn ring alerts off for a certain period of time, motion detection and motion alerts. You can also view your event history. So if you've got any recordings, you can see them here. You may want to view your Wi-Fi status if you press device health. From here, you can see your battery level and your Wi-Fi signal strength. You can also change your motion settings by pressing this button here. To view, live, to view the live view at any time, just press a window. And then tap to go live. One useful feature it's worth knowing is how to have color video at night. Go to device settings, go to video settings. From here, you can turn color night vision on and off. Now let's look at setting up the ring chime. First of all, from the main screen, select set up a device. Select chimes. It will then ask you to scan the QR code on the back of the chime. So I'm ready to scan. Turn the chime over. Scan the QR code. As you can see, it's found a chime. You then select what address it's in. So mine's in my main home again. So I'll press continue. You can give it a name. Mine's going to be downstairs. We need to plug it in. So I've plugged it in. My chime is on. 
who asked me to make sure I've got my Wi-Fi password to hand, which I have, get close to the chime, and then wait until the light is flashing green. As you can see, the light on my chime is flashing green. So I'm now going to press the light is flashing green. Select join. It's now asking what Wi-Fi network I want to use. My chime is now connecting to my Wi-Fi. It's now set up and ready to protect me. You can then go through some settings. So you can choose what alerts you want the chime to amplify. So I'm going to choose my front door when it rings. You can have motion detection on as well. I keep this off because it can get annoying if it alerts too often. You can then select what tones you want it to play. Although I keep mine on default. You can choose what motion noise you want. If I use this feature, I'd have this on default as well. That's saved and you're done. The last thing to do is ring the doorbell and test it out. As promised, the last thing I'm going to show you is how to get your Amazon Echo to alert you when someone presses the doorbell. To do this, open up the Alexa app, press the three lines at the bottom and select skills and games. From here, search for ring. Select the ring skill, press enable to use, and agree and continue. Ring's been successfully linked. It's now looking for my doorbell. It's found my doorbell. You can choose where the camera is, but I'm gonna skip this, and it's now set up and ready to use. As you can see, if you make sure you have a light bulb button pressed, I can see the front door. So I'll select that. I'll then press a gear icon on the top right hand corner of the screen. The first thing you want to do is select your announcement devices. These are the devices will alert you when someone's at the front door. I'm going to select my Echo Show 5 and my Echo Dot. You can also choose what sound you wanted to play when somebody presses the doorbell. And that's it. You're now all set up and ready to go. Let's test the doorbell out to see if it's worked with the Echo. Someone is at front door. As you can see, when the doorbell was pressed, it alerted me. And as I'm using an Echo Show, it also showed me who was at the front door. And that's it. Your Ring doorbell is now fully set up and ready to go. You can see who's at your door, get instant alerts, and even make your Echo devices chime when someone rings. If this video helped you out, give it a thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe for more smart home tips and setup guides. Got any questions or run into a problem, drop a comment below. I read and reply to as many as I can. Thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next one.